In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the concept of a mole in chemistry. Now, previously, I was I sent out a article introduction to the mole article in which you had a chance to highlight and make notes, essentially annotate. And so I'll be referring to this article uh, at some point during this uh, video lecture. The first off, I want to talk about the definition of a mole. Um, the first thing that I would like you to do in your notebook is just to put this definition. A mole is just a number. A mole is just a number. Um, it, it's a word that refers to a number. So in our English language, we have a couple of words that refer to a number. One is the word pair. The word pair, we know, refers to two. So if someone asks you to grab a pair of shoes, you're going to grab two shoes. A pair of gloves, you're going to grab two gloves. Just like the word dozen. The word dozen stands for 12. If somebody asks you to go get a dozen donuts, you're going to come back with 12 donuts. We're very familiar with words standing for numbers. Well, here we also have a word that stands for a number. Now, it turns out that the number that the that the word mole stands for is a very very large number and I'm going to write it out. So it's 602 There is the number. I think it's really said 602 billion trillion. It's 602 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sets of three zeros after it. Now, we can understand a pair meaning 2. We can understand a dozen meaning 12. This is where it gets complicated is that a mole just stands for 602 billion trillion. But that literally is all that it stands for. There's historical significance on why it's 602 billion trillion. Just like there's historical significance on why a pair stands for two. Probably because we have two feet so you get a pair of shoes. Why a dozen stands for 12. Maybe 12 donuts fit perfectly in that box, so they decided to make a word that stands for a number to be able to sell donuts by. I don't know exactly the historical significance, but I know that there's a historical significance behind a mole of being 602 billion trillion. So this is where we get the definition, the formal definition, and here's what the formal definition is. One mole... One mole is defined, it's defined as, one mole is defined as the number of atoms, as the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of pure carbon 12. That is the definition of a mole, the formal definition of a mole. If you are like me, it always helps to visualize what's taking place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a balance. And this balance is going to read in grams. So almost like our triple beam balance. And what we're going to do is we're going to start placing atoms on top of the balance. Now, I know it's a little bit silly to think of placing one atom on at a time, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to place one atom. And what type of atoms are we going to place? We don't get to place any type of atom. We're placing carbon-12. So the type of atoms that we're placing on here is carbon-12. Now, carbon-12 is an atom that has, so every atom of carbon-12, every atom of carbon-12 
has six protons. It has six electrons. And it also has six neutrons. So if we looked up carbon on the periodic table, carbon is number six on the periodic table. Because it's number six on the periodic table, it has six protons and it has six electrons. The carbon-12, this 12 refers to how many protons plus the number of neutrons. So the six plus the six give you 12. So every atom we put on here has six protons, six electrons, as well as six neutrons. Why did we pick carbon-12? We could have picked any atom from the periodic table, but we chose carbon-12. Uh, maybe carbon, uh, because carbon is the element of life, it's the um, backbone of DNA, it's the backbone of carbohydrates and fats and proteins. Maybe that's why they chose carbon-12. But it doesn't matter. Well, they chose carbon-12, so we're putting we're putting atoms of carbon-12 on a balance, one atom at a time. Now, that is impossible to do, but that's the idea to help us get an idea of what this looks like. So we just keep piling, keep piling atoms on the scale. Well, what is a scale supposed to read? The scale is supposed to read 12 grams, but not just 12 grams. It's supposed to be exactly 12 grams. Grams. Why 12 grams and not 13 or 11? There's significance on that, but we're not going to worry about it right now. We're just picking 12 grams. So once again, we're trying to unpack this definition that one mole is defined. The definition is defined as the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of pure carbon-12. So what we did is we analyzed what carbon-12 is. Carbon-12 is an atom that has six protons, six electrons, and six neutrons. We're putting them on the balance one at a time, one at a time, until finally the balance reads 12 grams. Well, how many atoms did we put on there? We put on there 602 billion trillion. If it's okay, I'm going to turn this into scientific notation. So I'm going to move the decimal. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Because we want the decimal to be just to the right of the first non-zero digit. Only one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal. So this ends up being 6.02 e to the 23 atoms. That is the definition of a mole. One mole is defined as the number of atoms, the number of atoms, in exactly 12 grams of pure carbon-12. It is defined that way. That's how it is defined, one mole. If we looked at our article, you will see that one interpretation is a specific number of particles. In this case, we're talking about atoms. But... They go a little further. They don't go 602 and then all zeros. They go 602, 214, 199. So technically it does involve all of these digits, but we're going to round just like uh, pi is 3.141592, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're, we typically use 3.14 for pi. We're going to use 602, 6.02 e to the 23rd atoms. That is the definition of a mole. The formal definition of a mole has the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12, and this gives you a picture of that. We're not going to be confused about a mole, just like a pair means two, a dozen means 12, and there's probably significance of where those words are tied to the numbers, but a mole is 602 billion trillion. Well, why is it 602 billion trillion? Because they picked carbon-12 as the type of atom to put on a scale. They picked 12 grams to be exactly the number they want to get to. And when they put on the atoms to finally get exactly 12 grams, it's that many number of atoms. So they defined mole based off of that many number of atoms. I hope that this under helps you understand the concept of a mole.